two day hiking, driving, whatever road trip. And usually when we're on a road trip, I like to pack snacks because I get low blood sugar. Um, and so I always need to have something to snack on. And also if you get hungry, you don't want to be tempted to go into a gas station and get like a bag of chips and a Coke or a candy bar or anything like that. Um, so I usually have snacks. Um, so I thought I would show you and kind of give you an idea of maybe something you could pack for your next road trip. These snacks are gonna be specific to actually what we're doing. So they're gonna be geared a little bit more towards giving us energy um, and protein and kind of that boost we need since we'll be exercising and not just riding in a car. So I thought I'd show you some stuff. Um, first up, water. So always have your water with you. And then another thing I brought, this is um, peach flavored sparkling water. This is the Kroger brand. Um, I know that regular, just plain water is better than this, but if you don't want to be tempted to do a Coke or something, this is a good alternative. And then I brought a bunch of nuts. <laughs> so I had some pistachios left over. Pistachios are always good to keep with you. They're good for recipes, good for salads. So I had a little bit of that left over. Um, and then we have cashews and raw cashews are always the best. Um, but my grocery store was out of the raw ones. Um, and so I got these, I picked these up for like $4, which is really good. Cashews are pretty pricey, um, but this is a great source of protein. So I've got those. And then this is a mix of cashews, sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, pecans, um, pumpkin seeds, all kinds of good sources of protein. And what I did was I actually soaked these in water because if you soak your nuts in water, it makes them easier for your body to digest. And that way you get more of the nutrients and minerals that you need. Um, it will change the texture a little bit. The only thing that it really kind of gummies up are the cashews, but everything else will still have a crunch to it. So I've got a bunch of this. Um, my recommendation on buying nuts, because nuts can be pretty pricey, is just to buy them when they're on sale. So the pumpkin seeds I got for half price. Um, the pecans were actually uh, local and we cracked them ourselves. And so you don't have to buy them all at one time, but if you kind of buy them when you see them on sale and do a price comparison, and you kind of come up with a little collection, and so that's how I buy the nuts. So the other thing I have, these are the chocolate chip banana muffin tops. This is from the Oshi Glows cookbook, um, and they are really tasty. Um, so there's all goods, of good. There's all kinds of good things in here: um, banana, oats. Um, the chocolate chips are just to give it a little bit more flavor, but there's lots of good things in those. And those are going to be. I think we're going to have those maybe for breakfast or something. And the last two things I have, this is um, a knockoff Yeti cup, but I like using this to keep things cold. So I put the cup in the fridge, at least for overnight, so that the cup actually kind of cools down. And then I put frozen berries in here. You could freeze your own fruit, but it was actually cheaper right now um, since these berries aren't in season. I bought them already frozen at Kroger. They're the Kroger brand. So there's raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, and they're frozen. So you could just kind of nosh on them like that. Or, and this is a, trip, uh, a little trick that I got from the uh, Raw Vegan Not Gross from Laura Miller. And she recommends eating it like cereal. So I brought in another thermal cup. This one's from Starbucks. I have coconut milk, the kind that's in the carton by the almond milk. And you can pour it over your berries and then just kind of eat it like cereal. So that's another good source of all kinds of nutrient and minerals. So basically everything that I packed was to give us energy and to make us feel really good, especially if we get tired. Um, not anything that's going to kind of weigh us down or make us feel real heavy. So those are my little tricks um, and I just kind of prepare it ahead of time and I already have it stuck in the fridge or the freezer um, so that we can just pack up and ready to go. And I've got like a little 
thermal bag um, and I've got the little freezer packs in here so it doesn't have to be expensive to pack your own stuff and it can taste really good and you can kind of change things up so those are my recommendations for a road trip snack mm -hmm.